Welcome back guys to my channel. My name is Torrent, aka Miguel, making a follow-up video. Today we're going to talk about the Mac Mini M4 and whether it has a place amongst mini computers. Okay. So let's get into it. So right here you have three or four of the most popular mini computers that are out there. Actually one of the couple of the most powerful computers that you have out there. You have the B-Link CR7. This one is the 70, 7840HS. Uh, this comes in around 640 bucks. We have the Minisform UM790 Pro, even though there's a newer one, I believe. This one is the 790 Pro. Uh, this is a Ryzen 9 7940HS. Then we have obviously the Mac uh, M4, the 10 core. This is the base model coming in at uh, 600 bucks, 599. Uh, the most basic 10 core, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs, uh, gig ethernet. Then we have uh, this tank of a mini computer slash workstation. I don't even know if that should be considered a mini computer at this point, but it is almost the same form factor, maybe just a little bigger, obviously. But this would probably be the more gold standard of all of them, which would be the MS-01 uh, for Minisform. This has an i9-13900H, uh, um, and particularly this one has 96 gigs of RAM in it of DDR5 RAM and uh, a couple other specs. This one base model with nothing comes in around 679. You could get the other version of this one for 419. So <clears throat> this video is really to understand what you're getting with the Mac M4. Does it have a place among many computers? Um, and in my opinion, it depends on what you're looking for. But in my opinion, I don't think so. Uh, and the reason why is because all these three computers, they're all kind of in the same price range. They're all in the 600, 400 to 600 price range. Um, and they all offer, and they're all top of the line when it comes to hardware. Um, they, each and every one of these, and in my opinion, the MS-01 is the most capable of them all. Um, but as far as all three of them put together, and I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm including the Mac in this, but all these three are top of the line at this point when it comes to mini computers. So with that being said, this one here, uh, the B-Link is about 600 bucks. Uh, this the U790, this one's about 650 right now. I think it's 800 because it's uh, normally, but right now it's 650 on sale. And this one, uh, the more expensive one, bare bones, I think comes in at 679 too. Uh, for that price, what you get with these computers or these mini computers is absurd. We could go right here to the MS-01 because it, it happens to be my favorite. So with the MS-01, you get two 10 gig SFP ports, you get two 2.5s, and then you get two 40 Thunderbolt 4 or US Thunderbolt 3 ports along with everything else. Then you get a slot you got a slot to put a low end or a low profile video card on it. And like I said, this one particular, I'm going to open up. So I'm going to just put the mic down for a second. This one in particular, I paired it with a RTX A2000 12 gig CPU. Uh, I bought the extra cooler here uh, to make it a low profile, but I put it in to this machine and this machine pairing this with this video card, 96 gigs of RAM with i9 13 uh, 3900h i believe it's in it uh, it's just a beast of a computer um, now obviously with the video card and everything else in it, it it probably ran me close to maybe 1800 bucks uh close to around that 1800 2000 uh is it fair to compare it to the apple yes because one, Apple did throw its hat in the ring when it came to mini computers. So it is a mini computer or a mini PC. So it's fair to say. But I believe on the high end of the Mac M4, uh, obviously you could price it out. Um, I believe it comes up to almost four grand for the high end of the Mac. But the specs nowhere come close to this MS-13. And again, the specs at these price range on bare bones, they still, these computers you get a lot more hardware, a lot more bang for your buck when you go th down these routes instead of the Mac M4. 
Now, I think this has always been the case with Apple, right? So when you buy Apple computer, you're really buying the ecosystem because you're, you're just, so this is what I go into where this is really has to do with what your use case is, right? So if you're just looking for a Mac and you just wanna plug it in and get the Mac experience and get a good Mac experience, this by far is a great mini PC for that. And especially at its price range. I have a M1 laptop that's sitting on my desk that I've been using and it's the M1 chip and that chip has been amazing completely amazing how however the laptop was 2500 bucks so having an m4 and having these specs the only downside on this one so my m1 does have one terabyte 16 gigs of ram and the one terabyte is really different and it just has a one uh the m1 so the only difference between them two really is the m4 and the terabyte but my laptop still rips and i still like using it from time to time so with that being said, if that's what you're looking for, this is a great buy. Don't get me wrong. If you're going into the Mac, it's tiny, it works. It has a lot of IO that's really, really good on it. Um, and it, it, it's a very good, nice, solid piece of compu you know, computer equipment. However, when you throw it in the ring with other com mini computers, how I'm doing now, it is not worth it, to, in my opinion. I could load Windows to server on any one of these. I could load Ubuntu. I could load, I could take it apart. And like in this case, I could take it apart, put 96 terabytes and 96 gigs of RAM, DDR5 RAM, three MVMEs in it with a badass video card in it. Um, I can't really do the video cards with these two, uh, but I could do the RAM and I could do the SSDs and the versatile of loading whatever operating system I want on it and using it for different things at different times. This one right here happens to be the SR7, happens to be my work computer. I, uh, I work from home and this one here is my fully work computer and I have three 27 inch uh, Samsung monitors uh, that all do 4K at 250 Hertz. And this one, I could plug all three of them into it and it runs beautiful. It handles it like an absolute champ, this one. And I never had a problem with any of this, any, any lag whatsoever. Uh, but I've been using this for a better part of the week. Um, and I just wanted to make a quick video because I did do an unboxing on it. And I was not impressed. The build quality compared to these other ones feel about the same. Don't get me wrong. They all feel... This one feels a little bit more premium. This one probably feel the premium because it, it, it really has a metallic feel. Is this one the, the feels the most like the Mac. Uh, these two feel more premium and these two kind of same, if that makes any sense, if any of you have that. <laughs> so again, this was kind of my take on these three computers. Uh, again, I think it really just depends on what you want to pay for and what versatile, you know, want to use these computers. You know, want the ability to use them for multiple different things and, and, and customize them and do whatever you want. I don't think the Mac M4 is gonna be good for that. I think these other computers were definitely a lot better for that type of, uh, of, of what you're going for. But if you, if you just want the Mac ecosystem and you want a nice small footprint and you work out of Mac the whole time, I would definitely recommend us. I do not like that power button being on the bottom of it for whatever reason. I feel like it bothers me so much. So with that being said, this was just a, you know, just a follow up on my unboxing video. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, if you like my content, uh, this is relaunching my channel. If you like my content, just like and subscribe. Um, if you wanna see different content, please post. If you wanna see benchmarks or whatever the case is, uh, I would love to go down the rabbit hole to try to figure it, you know, to do that. Anyway. Thanks for watching. My name is Miguel. Uh, you guys have a great day. All right, bye.